All right, guys, real quick, just going to use this opportunity to shill my other platforms. You can find all my links on my Linktree page. The main pages I'm going to be using other than YouTube are going to be Minds, Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, and Truth Social. So if you guys want to give me a follow over on those other platforms, I'd really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, making this video. This one actually is Philadelphia Eagles related. Going to start getting back into the swing of the news cycle um, for the Eagles. And uh, this one is actually kind of funny for me to make because uh, when the Eagles drafted this player, um, I was initially not very pleased by it because um, the Eagles passed on my favorite wide receiver of that draft. Um, and this is the 2020 draft, which was Justin Jefferson, who actually went to the Vikings. And so... Obviously, if you guys are Eagles fans, you already know which player I'm talking about. This is Jalen Ragor. It looks like the Eagles just traded him to the Vikings. So I thought that was really funny because the Eagles passed on Jeff Justin Jefferson and then he went to the Vikings and now the Eagles have traded Jalen Ragor to the Vikings. So the Vikings really won in this one, guys. And, and the reason I'm saying this, I'm going to go over it. Um, and if you guys want to read the article that I'm reading... This is from uh, Sports Illustrated. I can uh, leave a link for that in the description, as always, if you guys want to check that out. Um, but essentially what the Eagles got, which is pretty minuscule, in my opinion, um, it looks like they gave us a 2023 seventh round pick and then a conditional 2024 fourth round pick. And I guess the 2024 pick can become a fifth round if Rager falls short of certain statistical marks. I don't really know what that means. Like, it would, why would you want it to fall to a fifth round? I guess if he plays really, really good, it's a fourth round. But if he plays really bad, it's a fifth round. So, guys, you got to remember the Eagles picked him up, Jalen Rager. He's the next Nelson Aguilar. He, he's another Jordan Matthews, basically, like just not quite good enough. Jalen Rager is probably bigger, a bigger fail, in my opinion, than either of those two, though, because at least Aguilar had a big part of the Super Bowl win um, in 2017. And then Jordan Matthews, I've always kind of liked him as a player, even though he never quite got his stride in Philadelphia. But to me, this is just another example of a, of a failed Eagles first round wide receiver draft pick and they they selected him with the 21st overall so this is not like a this was not like a an easy move i guess by the eagles he's only uh, jalen rager is only 23 so he is pretty young um and i don't know i just think he's gonna do good with the vikings guys that's just my gut feeling he was absolutely trash with the eagles um and I didn't predict that he would be bad, but I just remember when they drafted him. Again, like I said, I was really mad that they didn't just get Justin Jefferson. I think Justin Jefferson is like a top receiver in the league right now. Um, he's even better than Devontae Smith, who the Eagles do have. So I always think about that, guys. Think about that. We could have had Devontae Smith and we could have had Justin Jefferson on the Eagles in addition to A.J. Brown. Just, just let that sink in for a second. And, you know, a lot of people are praising Howie this year. I'll probably make a video about that. I need to go over. Like I said, I've been kind of behind on the NFL. I've been focusing on uh, other types of content, like uh, politics and stuff like that. Um, but I need to go over what Howie Roseman has done with the defense for sure. But um, I'll just say this this Jalen Ragor draft pick has just proven to be an utter failure, um, in my opinion, because... I know what the Eagles are doing. They're trying to get draft picks for future years. And, you know, they're, they're kind of giving like Jalen Hurts like a one year prove it here. And then they can go draft another quarterback next year if he doesn't work out. But, you know, these are late draft picks. And, and, you know, I guess that doesn't really matter. Like a lot of NFL players that get picked up late end up being very good in the, in the league. But in my opinion, just my opinion, um, I think that this uh, this Jalen Ragor situation um, has been a fail from from the begin from beginning to end, and and I think the Vikings actually uh, got a steal here. To be quite honest, whether Jalen Rager is a good player, um, we will get to see that in the future. But like I said, he's got more upside than downside. 
Um, he's only 23 years old, so he's very young. And he just didn't fit with the Eagles. So the now the Vikings have Ragor and Jefferson, uh, two first-round draft pick wide receivers. So got to give him credit, guys. Got to give him credit. I guess that this is payback for the uh, the absolute uh, robbery that Howie Roseman pulled in 2016 when he traded Sam Bradford to the Vikings for a first-round draft pick. So uh, anyway, that's kind of the video, guys. Just wanted to make that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, Jalen Ragor pick up down in the bottom of the comments and uh if you like this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and as always guys thank you so much for watching this has been jigsaw 0097 i will talk to you all later